hello everyone welcome to my new video so this video uh, i will show you how you can create a vouchers on the new user interface as uh, ubiquity remove the guest hotspot option from the legacy interface uh, i've already made a video on this how you can create a uh, guest hotspot uh, portal uh, uh, depending on the authentication like what authentication you can use uh, you can check that video uh, it will be at top on the i button you can just go ahead and check so this will be a revised video uh, so i will uh, show you how you can create a vouchers for single use multi use or limited so yeah so uh you you go to the settings and uh, you make sure you have a, a wi-fi ssid uh assigned for the guest hotspot portal so i have this ssid i have checked the options of the hotspot portal so once uh, this option is checked so uh which means the um, guest hotspot uh, uh, portal is enabled so uh i've checked these options and i've given the ssid name and i've set the wi-fi band and everything's like uh, uh, uh should be the same it's like uh, uh, in the guest hotspot portal i'm using a uh, voucher base as a authentication so the security protocol i've set an open but if you want you can set a double security protection like a wpa2 uh yeah it depends so uh, i've created this ssid once you create uh, guest SSID on the new user interface, you will see the hotspot manager on the left hand side. So here you can uh, set your landing page, authentication and everything. So if I click on the hotspot manager, I can go to the landing page and I can uh, change the branding. Uh, the, if you I, if i want the uh, terms of service uh, should show up on my uh, portal page i can use if, if not i can i can customize the logo where the logo should be there on the uh, center and i can choose other galleries depending on my uh, need uh, so the landing page i'm using the success message when uh, the successfully voucher is connected i will get the hostify as a success message or you can set the custom url landing page here i'm using the voucher based authentication you, you can use the different type of authentication like facebook password payment yeah under the settings you can set your pre-authorization pre access and the landing page uh, settings or the default expiration what expiration you want to set on, on the uh, on this uh, guess uh, society so yeah so once you set the authentication as a voucher you will get the voucher option here so as you see i have already created the voucher but i can show you uh, if you add a voucher what options do you get here if you click on add a vouchers you can give the name voucher name uh, how much voucher uh, quantity you want to uh, create you can set up here and voucher type is single use multi use or unlimited depends on your need and uh, you can set the expiration also is it for one day 24 hours uh, days minutes and you can define a quota also the data limit for that uh, voucher client you can set and download limit and up upload limit you can set so as you see i've already created the expiration of 24 one day single use and limited data limit download and uh, so this is how you can uh, uh, simply create a vouchers on the new user interface on unify controller and if you want you can print all the vouchers from here and you can share it with your client so yeah this video is uh, mostly about how you can create a new watchers one of my subscriber suggested me to make a video on it so yeah that's it for today's video let me know if you have any doubts and questions you can comment down and yeah thanks for watching this video see you guys bye